Hello again and uh, welcome to Intech Center online tutorial. Uh, my name is Aida and I'll be guiding you through the Functional Skills Maths Level 1 uh, sample paper. To begin with, please note that this video is uh, made for education purposes only uh, for Intech Center learners and customers. In no way is this affiliated with City and Guilds, therefore we cannot guarantee that the answers provided are 100% accurate. Now, uh, I'll um, go to the Intech Center website a little bit for you to remind you that we offer funded courses in maths, English and IT, as well as employability, as you can see right here. And then uh, next to it, if you're not eligible for the funded program, you can definitely go for the private uh, in maths, English and IT. Um, if you need any more information uh, regarding these courses, please call us on the phone number at the bottom of the page or you can find our email address here where you can make uh, an inquiry. Um, also, for exams, we have the exam preparation for level 2. There will be an exam preparation um, added for level 1 as well, which is why I'm making this video. So, um, general information about the exam is right here. And then uh, once we have it up and running, you will also find uh, the one that I'm recording uh, right now. So if I go back to uh, moving on with the second part of the sample paper, um, we can answer this one uh, together as well. So uh, this is our uh, second part of the sample paper. This is the second scenario that we will be going through together. Uh, the question is uh, telling us that uh, this task is about fitting filing cabinets around a wall. The company where we work is moving to a new building. We have uh, to plan where the filing cabinets will go in the new office. Now, question one has two marks. Uh, this is, uh, they're asking us what is the length of the wall on each side of the door. Remember that to find out this information, you have to click on I, which is information. Okay, uh, they are telling us that in part A we'll find the dimensions of the wall. So we can clearly see at the top that the length is 7, which means that the bottom will be 7 as well. Height 3 meters, uh, same on the left, it will be 3 meters, so they will be equal. Now we uh, have to find the dimensions they are saying. They are asking us uh, what is the length of the wall on each side of the door. So if I close this for a second, it says length of the wall on the left of the door, length of the wall on the right of the door. So we go back to information to get this information. So as I said, we have the length 7, same for bottom. We know that this is the left of the door and this will be the right of the door. So on the left, we clearly have 1.5. There's nothing you have to calculate, um, it's just given to you this information. So uh, let's close this again for a second. We know that on the left of the door we have 1.5 meters. Now if we go back, we don't know what we have on the right of the door, but based on the information given we can figure it out together. So we have 7 meters in total in length and we'll take away what we know which is the 1.5 on the left of the door and then we'll be left with 5.5. Now we have to also remember that the door is taking space out of the wall itself so we'll have to take that away from uh, the 5.5 and it will give us 4.5. So the idea is that from here all the way to there we have 4.5 meters therefore uh, we can put this down as our answer 4.5 meters. That's it, there's nothing else you have to question, don't look at the height, it has nothing to do with uh, the question at hand, they're asking you for the length of the wall, so how big is the space, how much space do we have? And as I said, on the left we have 1.5, information has been given, and then on the right we have um, to subtract from the 7 meters, which we know the whole of the wall has, we take away the 1.5, we take away the width of the door and we'll be left with a 4.5. Now next question is asking us question 2 which has 4 marks. We have to look at the filing cabinets from the old office. Uh, the manager wants 
as many of these filing cabinets as possible to go along the wall. How many of each size of filing cabinet will we put along the wall? We have to put the answers in the tables below. So again, we go back to the same uh, information given. So, but now we have to look at the filing cabinets from the old office. We know that we have four narrow cabinets. You could write this down so that you don't forget it. Four narrow cabinets that have a height of 150 centimeters and the width of 50 centimeters. Perfect. And then we also have six white cabinets. Don't spend too much time actually with typing. So we'll do H equals to 1.5 and W equals to 50. Six white cabinets with a height of 150 centimeters and a width of 80 centimeters. This way you can just uh, get rid of the um, information tab. Now we have to find out how many of each size of filing cabinet will we put along. So when we have questions like this one, you have to find out how much space you have on the left for example and on the left from the previous question we have 1.5 so 1.5 meters is the space we have to fit in the cabinets now there's a number uh, of options you could um, put along the wall you could have a combination of narrow and wide on the left or you could just have narrow why because we have 1.5 meters now if we convert this to centimeters we will have 150 centimeters. We know that the width of the um, cabinet is 50 centimeters. So we have 150 centimeters divided by 50 centimeters, the measurement of the cabinet itself. We'll find out that we can fit three of them in that space. Also, although here it says the length, they are not saying that this is the length of the wall. Right? This is the width, see, width there. So this would be the width, just like it says there. So this is a width, but they're referring to it as length so that you know how big that uh, wall is. Okay. So let's move on to the question. Let's go back to the question actually. So we have three narrow and zero wide. Or we could have put, because we have 150 centimeters, we could have put um, one narrow, which is 50 centimeters, will leave us with 100 centimeters. And then from 100, we would take away 80, because that's the size of the um, white cabinets. And we could have 20 centimeters left. So we could have had one narrow one white and then we would have to think how many we have left and see how many of which we can fit but this is the most suitable uh, option um, to have because it fits exactly we can fit exactly three cabinets in the space given but either way would be correct so now if we move on to the right size uh, side of the wall we have a 4.5 uh, meters dimension so we have 4.5 meters on the right of the wall which converted to centimeters will be 450 centimeters now uh, we know that we have one narrow cabinet left and still have six cabinets now let's find out how many wide we can fit in 450 so we have 450 in total space divided to the size of one of the cabinets which is 80 as we have from here 
80, the width. It will give us an answer of, let's use the calculator, 450 divided by 80, it's 5.65. So we can fit 5.65. We'll have to round it down because we don't have place for the sixth one. So we'll put five wide cabinets on the right side. Now, because we used um, part of the space, we need to figure out what the 6.25 represents out of the 450. We could do this on a number of ways. Knowing the size of one cabinet and knowing that we will fit five of them, we know that they will take the space of 400 centimeters out of 450. Then we can do 450 minus 400 centimeters will give us 50 centimeters left. What do we know about the narrow cabinets is that they have a width of 50 centimeters therefore we can fit one more um, narrow cabinet on the right side. Uh, question 3 is asking us how many of each size of filing cabinet will we have left over. We had 4 narrow minus the 4 narrow we used we have 0 narrow cabinets. Now we had 6 wide cabinets minus the 5 used equals to 1 cabinet left. This is a question that has two marks. It's um, quite straightforward. You have to relate to the previous question. Make sure you connect the questions if they're asking you to do so. Now question 4 has 5 marks. We have to draw uh, the filing cabinets to scale on the scale diagram below. We also have to label our scale diagram. They are telling us that this uh, 2 millimeters graph paper, uh, this means that the tiny squares are 2 millimeters and the big squares are 2 centimeters. So we know that 2 big squares represent 2 centimeters. Therefore here we have 2 centimeters that represent 1 meter in real life. Now, uh, I would advise you to use the rectangle tool because it gives you a um, box straight away rather than using line tool, which can become a bit messy because it will be harder to move around. So we take one of these and we put it on the left. We have to draw the cabinets from question, let's see, question two, if I'm not mistaken, let's see. Yes, it is question two. So make sure you have a note of this because we'll have to fit three left um, on the left three narrow cabinets and on the right five white and one narrow. Also, don't forget their measurements, which are here, because you will have to draw them. We are back to the scale diagram, and we are continuing to draw the three cabinets. So you can either do this. Or, if you think it's easier, you can do it this way, the whole space, and then you could split it in three. Whichever way you think it's easier for you, please do so. I'll show you on the right how else it can be done. Yeah, We have three um, narrow cabinets. They're asking us to label our uh, work. So we could put here narrow cabinets and we can maximize this and this is about it. Or you can move it to the side as well, whichever way you think is suitable or maybe even put it at the top. Now on the right we have to do five white. Again, we can take the rectangle too, and we have to figure out what 80 would represent. Here, I went ahead and I did it without explaining much. So uh, we said at the beginning that two boxes, two centimeters equals to one meter in real life. Here, we already know that this will be 1.5 because this was given to us. We know that if this is one meter, half of it will be one 
0 0.5 meters which is why I put the whole box and I split it into three and you can see that we have the 50 uh, the bottom in width and then in height we have 150 centimeters um, next we have to do the white again there are 150 in height and then we have to draw we have we know that this is 50 centimeters and then next one will be 60 70 80 and that's our white cabinet one of them now if you insert this you make sure it's green and it has all the corners uh, activated you can click on copy right there and then you can paste four times one two three four and they will all be there so now you can just move them and then place them in the correct space. This will save you a lot of time in the actual exam. So make sure you understand how to do this. This will be uh, found in the uh, navigation tutorial. So one of them must be too big. This is eight, seven, eight. Here it's a bit too much to the left so we moved it a bit to the right here again we have five six seven eight and then here this one has to go there let's see this one a bit like so so they don't have to be perfectly perfect because uh, the boxes are quite small so it will be harder for you to um, do it exactly on the line but you can see that they are in the correct um, format and um, the correct measurement so we'll paste another one so that we can edit it for the 50 um, centimeters in width so let's make this smaller and then we have all of the cabinets on the scale diagram here we'll put wide cabinets you could do this if you would like so that this would be white cabinets okay and then here you could put narrow if you want to but you already represented them there so I wouldn't um, worry too much about it we have one more question as this one is done so we have the last one, question 5, where we need to show a check of how we use the scale at question 4. We have to explain how we know one of the lines on the diagram is the correct scale length. Knowing that 2 centimeters represent 1 meter, we'll put that down. 2 centimeters equals to 1 meter. This is from the previous question, as you are well aware. And we have to explain one of the lines. So one of the, the lines we drew could be the um, 0 0.5, which is right here at the bottom, or the top. right? So that's 0 0.5 is the easiest to explain rather than uh, this one here. So we would have one centimeter equals to 50 centimeters or 0 0.5 meters however you like to uh, show us this it's fine uh, we are done with the last question in the second part we'll come back uh, with the third par part please um, do watch that one as well because it will be useful to improve your skills. Um, good luck with the sample papers and make sure you attempt as many as possible uh, of them on the City Guilds website. Good luck!